First tonight, several months ago, we did a story on 207 about a group of high school students from Erskine Academy in the town of China who had traveled to Guatemala. They went there for the best of reasons to build a house for a needy family. One of the adults who accompanied the students was Chris Bennett, a professional photographer in Maine who is himself an alumnus of Erskine. As we were doing that story, he mentioned another project he was involved in, and it turned out that was another story we wanted to tell. Chris Bennett has always loved wilderness and mountains. Soon after he graduated from photography school in 2006, he got a job as what's known as a ridge runner, patrolling a stretch of the Appalachian Trail between Rangeley and Stratton. And I just walked that 44 mile section back and forth, patrolling, uh, picking up trash, spreading leave no trace eth ethics. And I had my camera with me. Um, and I would hang a sheet from the lean-to and uh, photograph through hikers as they came through my campsite. That was the beginning of a project that Bennett has now been working on for well over a decade. He parks near Eustace at a spot where the Appalachian Trail crosses a remote dirt road, and he waits for through hikers. Sometimes 10 minutes, sometimes three hours. You're going to say, hey man, have a cold drink. Uh, why are you out here? I'd love to get your story and uh, just try and start a conversation and Asked to take their picture, and then 15 minutes later, they'll be on their way. Bennett has photographed hundreds of Appalachian Trail through hikers and recorded brief interviews with them. The gamut of people that come out here and hike the Appalachian Trail is unbelievable. Every type of person from every walk of life is out here. A question he always asks is why they decided to hike the trail. I decided to do it when I turned 62, and uh, that was March 25th of this year. And I like to tell people that I left the Social Security office and went right to the trail. I assume they tell you things and yeah. confide in you. I'm surprised at how, how little it takes for someone to really open up and start, start giving me some good stuff. He photographs only through hikers, the people walking the full 2,200 miles of the trail from Georgia to the summit of Katahdin which is where he interviewed Michael Davis minutes after he'd completed his journey. Got into my 40s and uh, my wife basically told me I got to put up or shut up. So I put up <laughs> and uh, here I am six months later. And was it what you expected? Everything, everything. Every single person has a story for being out here and I'm just trying to get at the heart of that and find out why they decided to walk 2,000 miles through the woods. And then also ask, you know, what are you going to do when you're done? How have you changed? Um, what's, what's next? And everybody has a different answer for that. How you doing? Hey, what's up? The first hiker he saw on this day was Holly Ward, who came to the U.S. from New Zealand just to hike the AT. She made it from Georgia to Massachusetts, where she had to quit because of an injury. She drove to this spot to meet yeah, friends she'd made on the trail. The people here have been incredible. I've encountered the weirdest and nicest, best people that I've ever met in my life. On the trail, hikers see things most Americans never experience. Yeah, just getting out to the middle of Maine. Maine. And three new odd local people to yeah. add to this. <laughs> like, who the hell goes from the middle of Maine? Like, where am I? But <laughs> then. It's picture time. So let's go back like 30 more feet. A key part of the job is making the subjects comfortable. That's good. How about right there? Yeah, so stand up tall, however you're feeling today. If you're feeling a little bummed or maybe you're happy you just got a beer. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty stoked. Huh? Feeling pretty good. After a few minutes, Holly's friends walked down the trail and out of the woods. I would love to kind of get to the root of why you're out here. Is that something you guys would be interested in? I'm a little camera shy, but I'll do my best. Awesome. Want to go first? Get it out of the way? Bennett says whatever preconceived notions you might have about muddy, sweaty, smelly hikers have a way of being blown up. Can you, uh, can you like look at this, see this birch tree right here? Yeah, look right there. Lou Burke, for instance, is just another college graduate who studied biopsychology, cognition, and neuroscience. And actually, stay pointing in that direction. I would love to get a little bit of the, a shot of the mud on your legs. Oh, yeah. Max Silverman first got interested in the Appalachian Trail in college. So two years later, I dropped out of college, and I was bumming around between odd jobs here and there. 
not fulfilling whatsoever, as you can imagine. And I decided to just go full send and go for the trail. After 2,000 miles on the trail, he relaxes by lighting up a smoke. So can you take a big, long draw and then slowly let the smoke out? That's probably not Look what right you expected. I feel like I'm modeling again. Excellent, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thanks so much. great. Pleasure. You're welcome. There are hundreds of through hikers along the Appalachian Trail, each one with his or her own story. And often their stories, such as Gabriel West's, come to an especially yeah, emotional end picture, atop top, Katahdin. Katahdin. It was always about the journey, and man, I tell you what, it is, who yeah, it's, it, I'm blessed, man, it's been a blessing. Chris Bennett hopes eventually to put the most compelling words and portraits he's captured into a book. As long as the through hikers keep coming, the stories will never end. Most through hikers on the Appalachian Trail start in Georgia in March or April and then head north. Now, those who have not yet finished their journey are running out of time because after October 15th, no overnight camping is allowed anywhere in Baxter State Park, which of course makes it very difficult for the through hikers to reach the summit of Katahdin. We should mention that Chris Bennett has done photography around the world. If you'd like to see more of his work, head to the 207 section of our website or our mobile app. And I love the photos that he's getting from that. The photos and the stories, the people, he just, he's really on to something special. Really cool project. Yeah.